Hi guys, it's been a minute. It's been a long time since we sat down just to chat with you guys and film and just talk to you. I feel like it's, we took a leave of absence for so long here on this channel. Just laughing because Lynx is aggressively walking over here to demand that Diana carry him. <laughs> Hi is. baby, look at Lynxy boo. You guys haven't seen him in so long here in this channel. He's if a giant now. If you follow me on Instagram, you've obviously seen the kids, like I post them every single day. But it's been a while. We're so happy to just be sitting down talking to you guys. I told Jose, I'm like, we're gonna do a Q&A and just address everything and just talk to them and like come back on YouTube because we miss you guys and we've had a lot going on the past two years. I feel like it's it hasn't been, been two years. No, it's been two years since we've been like inconsistent I think here. We've, we've made contact <laughs> in, in the last two years. Yeah, we've uploaded maybe like a few videos in the last two years here on this channel, but for the most part, like we haven't really been posting here. Yeah, and so we wanted to do like our welcome back video and just talk to you guys and answer your most asked little questions. Little get to know us. Yeah, and like, I get feel like maybe a lot of you guys have been like out of the loop, out of like what we've been doing, where we're at. We bought a second home in Florida and Ooh. it's been a lot. So it's gonna take some time to like go over everything. So we're gonna try and make this video chatty and fun and just talk because we miss you guys. And I feel like we've documented so much of our lives these past eight years that we've been here on YouTube. And like, we kind of just like went, take two. <laughs> Let's see if we get it this time. We're like trying to film this with the kids just in the background. And now we've like entertained them. So we have about exactly eight minutes. Yes, or to, less. To film this video. Oh my gosh, what happened to my neck? I was like, oh my gosh, did it break? Oh my gosh, I was out and about with the necklace like this. Like I just felt it like falling out. It looked like it broke. I would have literally cried if I lost it. This is my Van Cleef necklace. I, oh my gosh, I would have cried. So anyways, that's not what the video is about. I lost my wedding ring, by the way. Yes, of course he did. He, he can't even put his wallet in one place. Because I did not I, lose it. I actually took it off and Lynx is his new thing is he throws everything in the garbage. So I'm sure he got a hold of it and just threw it in the garbage. And, and your cards and your ID and your license, all that, all that. I'm trying to get him to just have everything in one place. But you guys know, guys, it's just like a mission to get them to do I have stuff, a wallet. So. It's just it's, it's so hard to sit on it. I don't like sitting on it. So maybe you need a thinner wallet. I feel like a lot of you guys have so many questions. So we did go on Instagram and asked do you guys to send us questions. So we're gonna answer your questions, but first we kind of just wanted to chat and like just speak to you because we miss you and like we want to come back on YouTube. Like, hello, this is our life. Like we love having you guys be part of like every big milestone, everything that we do and- And I still feel like they have, just on different platforms. Yeah, but it's not the same. Like I feel like our YouTube fam is like ride or die. Like you guys have watched and seen everything especially like i love when people send me messages like i've been here since like jose didn't want to be on camera people still say you don't want to be on camera nice. <laughs> <laughs> question number one why we quit youtube ask, did you did ask, you ask an answer why did you quit youtube we did not quit YouTube. we did quit youtube i don't know why some people are saying that we kind of just took a leave of absence that's what i'm going to call it because it wasn't even a leave of absence because we did not just like Quit social media because I feel yeah. like if you quit YouTube, you quit social media. No, but we did not sit down and make the decision like, oh, we're not gonna upload. We just like every time Dan was like, oh, let's up, let's vlog. We just find, never finish it. Yeah, we find we millions of reasons why not. Yeah. So we start a video and then we never end it. So I'm like, that needs to stop. Like, if we start a video, we need to end it and just be consistent and like upload for you guys and just do what we used to do, which is what you love. And I feel like a lot of people forget that. I had such a hard year this past year, like... I don't think you spoke much about it, that's the thing. Behind the scenes, like, I have been through a lot. We had a, a really hard year, but we're so happy where we're at in life right now with the kids and in general, and so much has changed. So you guys will, like, be caught up with everything because, like, obviously, we're going to be showing you, like, the real raw situations that we've been in and going through. Second of all... Yes. Second of all, um, we're in Florida. 
We're in the kitchen right now. Really. <laughs> Did you guys move to Florida? What's going on? Why are you in Florida? So we are in Florida. <laughs> we won't be here for long. <laughs> We bought a vacation home in Florida and we'll be here some time. We'll be back. I feel like New York will always be our main home. You guys know we moved from California and back to the East Coast so that we can be in New York. So absolutely not. We will never leave New York. Um, but we come to Florida so much so we figured we'll get a place here and we got a place right on time for a hurricane. It was a crazy experience because everyone went out their way, like all our neighbors, to just assure us, like, you guys are gonna be okay, the house is fine, don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah, everyone was so kind here, and obviously, way more people had it way harder than we did. We did have like some minor things going on here, but like nothing compared to everyone else who lost their homes, lost their everything. So, obviously, you know. It was a, a hard situation. It was our first time experiencing a hurricane, so we didn't know what to expect. We didn't even know how to prepare for a hurricane. Yeah, it caught everyone off guard. Yeah. Especially so, in this area, because we're central Orlando. Yeah, exactly. So we don't know if we want to go through another hurricane again. I know I don't. Hence, this is why this is our vacation home, not our main home. Um, but yeah, that's how we're in Florida. We've just been like enjoying it. It's definitely been quite hot. a journey and hot. <laughs> Um, but now it's in cooler, right? It's like yes, the weather's the, the been weather's nice. Now. We're gonna be heading back up north for the holidays, and you guys know that in November I go all out with my Christmas videos. So I'm excited for that just to start decorating and like just to vlog about what we do with the kids. And I feel like you're gonna hit me with your hand one time. <laughs> I'm like, because I feel like I should be moving more because you just swinging. It's just like I'm so used to like I'm a, the type of person that talks with their hands, so I need to like stop it. Stay right. still. You want me to tape you down? Hold okay. Down. <laughs> We're going to answer a few questions that we got over on Instagram. When the kids go to school, will they go in Florida or New York? New York. Yeah, for sure New York. Like, we don't um, know much about, like, the school system here in Florida anyways. And, and we have some schools, like, picked out already, right? Yeah. And just, and just to, you know, to be safe, we did check here in Florida, but every good school seems to be booked. Yeah. Like, every private school. Or every private daycare, they're all like, you know, come in for an interview, we'll put you on the wait list. Well, so I feel like we'll have a better chance in New York. How did you choose what part of Florida you wanted to buy in? So it basically chose us. So when we would come to Florida, we always come to Orlando, to Disney World, of course, and we fell in love with the area. Just like any other paradise place that you go to, you fall in love with it, you know, and always picture yourself living there. And we love Florida. Like, we haven't really explored any other place other than Orlando to know much about it. And like, we would like drive by these areas and like, we wanted, we knew we wanted to be close to Disney because like I said, we were not gonna be here full time. So while we're here, we wanted to make the most out of our home. So we wanted to be close to theme parks, close to restaurants, have a downtown area, have a safe area. And we kind of thought that this area was that. And then we kind of like figured a few months in that we were caught with a lot of surprises which we're not going to talk about now but that's another video for another time we worked with a broker he helped us find this home we bought it and we bought it literally right before the hike of the interest rates which are now insane yeah. like it was actually right in the middle we just locked in before the increase like the what's it called the the financer told us to lock in the rate how are you managing your uc now and what kind of meds is working for you that is a good question because that that gets you into the reason one of the reasons why we basically slow down uploading on the YouTube channel on the vlog channel because the UC um, cause Link's pregnancy to be high risk. I basically had to start from scratch, try something new. So I started my infusion in February. Yeah, so but you, sk you skipped the whole prednisone where you were like on prednisone for so long that it caused your appearance to change which also caused another delay because you were like getting bullied left and right on your appearance. Yeah. While you were going through like a health scare. Yeah, it's been a lot. Like I even like even myself, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to remember the prednisone stage, but I was taking prednisone for three months and that was during the time that we kind of stopped vlogging, started, stopped um, right after the pregnancy and I was having a flare up and um, I ended up having to start my infusion 
and I've been on my infusion ever since February and it's been working amazing. I've been so happy with it. I've been in remission, I'm healthy, I can eat, I can be out and about and I just feel like I have a normal life. The past year was very difficult for me. I couldn't do much. I was hospitalized and um, it, was, it was pretty hard. And also like Jose said, it made my pregnancy high risk. Um, yeah, yeah, so. It's called Antibio. I'll link it in the description box below. I know I got a lot of questions about like what it is and like. <laughs> You're not about to link Antibio to the description box below. <laughs> An affiliate link. <laughs> okay, so this question is about Haley. Is Haley potty trained? Yes, of course she is. she is. She's three years old, and we started potty training. She goes around training. telling everyone that. She's <laughs> By the way, Lynx is like, mommy carry me, mommy put me down. So yeah, Haley is potty trained and she's so proud and happy to let everyone know that she is potty trained. Yeah. Um, we started around two, two and a half and... <coughs> oh, girlfriend? You all right? I'm okay. Told you something bad was going to happen to me. There you go, potty? The charm. No, the charm broke off. Well, yes. You know, while Diana gathers herself, Haley is, <laughs> Haley is potty trained. She caught on pretty quickly. She did. She, I feel like we were like wanting her to do it so quickly around two years old, but she wasn't ready at two. Yeah. And I feel like every child is different. Um, so as she got closer to three years old, she went and we did it in three days. We did the method where we bought her a little toilet and we put on underwears and we would tell her it's time to go. We would give her a little price when she went. Yeah, it got to the point where she would go and like scream her. I was like, yeah, yeah, I did it, I did it, come. And we would celebrate every time she we would go. We would be go. dancing in the bathroom with a yeah. bucket of potty. Yeah, so that was a good stage. I'm, I'm gonna miss it. Now it's time to potty train Lynx. Hopefully when he's like yeah. around the same age, he's and still now, super young. She's so good that now like if we put a diaper on, like if we're going on a long car ride or anything, she, she goes potty and then she's like, embarrassed to tell us like yeah can you help me with my diaper no oh, and that's a sign where they're like ready to be more independent with you know those things yeah um so we're so proud that she's like now potty trained and now you're gonna have to help me with links because i know nothing about potty training boys <laughs> that's easy they're gonna go anywhere oh this one do you like living in florida more than california you can ask me that question because you know my answer to that no <laughs> My question is no, I love California. I have been so open about my love for California and I always will be. We lived there for six years and even though it was a different place for us in comparison to New York, because New York is all we knew. Yeah. Um, I still loved it. The food was great. I, I have a lot of my friends there. We're actually going back to California to see our friends in a few weeks, which I'm so excited about. So we don't live in LA anymore, so I can say where we lived, but we lived in Hollywood, like borderline West Hollywood and Hollywood. And it was like a small section called like Larchmont. That was like throwing the juice. He finished the juice and he just <laughs> tossed the bottle. Like so a there was a supermarket called Pavilions, just two blocks away from where we lived. And Jose loved the street tacos there. Oh my god! Not gosh. from Pavilions though. There, there, there was a guy that set up a cart in the parking lot of Pavilions. Yeah, it was great. So if you're great. in LA, definitely go try it out. Um, also, Ding Tai Fung is one of my favorite restaurants in LA. Zinc has amazing salad if you're there and you're looking for something fresh for a daytime. What else? Yeah. Um, uh, LA's, yeah. Oh, Tatsu, the best ramen. Oh, yeah, Tatsu. We have one in New York, though. Tatsu. It's not the same. Okay, this is a good one. Are you guys planning to have more children? By the way, you have gorgeous babies. Thank you. No. <laughs> we're done. Like, we're so happy with how we have our little set, our girl and our boy, and that's what we wanted. Jose really wanted a girl. I really wanted a boy. And, like, we got the best of both worlds. Next question. Can we find your clothing line? Next question. All right, all right, next question. When, <laughs> this is literally me filming. So you got hiccups, you okay? Literally, this is me filming. Okay, so next question. <laughs> Can we find your clothing line in store? If you guys don't know, I am launching my very first, my own clothing brand that we have been working on for a long so time. We have invested all of our savings into this we've been dedicating so much of our time into this and like so much work has been put into like this is 
our third baby, our fourth baby, because Mackie Boy is our third baby. He's right here, by the way. A lot of you guys ask, like, where's Mackie Boy? You guys know Mackie Boy is like a lazy yeah. boy. He just likes to lounge around and do nothing and stay away from the kids because I feel like the kids don't really understand, like... I keep looking over there because I, I see Lynx on the glass. He's stuck under the chair, but he's, but he's oh, yeah, watching the phone. <laughs> so, yeah, we kind of, like, yes... The kids know Mackie Boy is here, but like they kind of give him his space. Yeah. Mackie Boy is older too, so he's just like he's a grumpy you know, old man. He's a grump, a grumpy old man. He doesn't like hugs anymore for me. Mackie Boy is an older dog. He's seven years old. He's gonna be eight soon. So he's just like not into like you know wanting to run around and like do all these things with the kids. So yeah. they give him his space, and he's just lounging around. So that's that. Second. Our clothing line will be available only e-commerce because this is like our first big thing that we do ourselves. I'm so excited. The first drop is happening in a few days and I cannot wait. I feel like it's going to be here before you know it. I feel like I'm talking so much. So Jose needs to like jump in. I am saying things here and there. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want people to be like, you talk so much. You never so let look, him this talk. This guy, he's literally under me. Lynx has joined us now. So with that being said, yeah, my clothing line is coming out in a few days. I'm so, so, so excited. Haley is here. She wants to say hi to you guys. And I've actually had the, the clothing. I'm not going to say what exactly it is because you guys will find out super soon. Um, I had it made for Haley as well. So if you guys want me to launch mommy and me line, let me know because that is definitely possible. So I'm going to make it and you guys can tell me like, are you covering her ears? Or what? <laughs> They're going to be a surprise. She can't hear it. Um, <laughs> By all means, links. Get comfortable. So yeah, I'm excited and you guys are all going to look gorgeous. Also, don't forget to go get your palettes. Sigma. Yes. Diana so you guys are going to be doing your makeup with my palette and also dressing up for the holidays. Now we just need shoes. With, oh, that would be a dream. I feel like that's, that's way... Way out there? Yeah, that's too hard. But fashion has always been like my passion. So I think this is going to be like a really amazing project to launch and have you guys be part of it. This is the last question. And it is, should I say the name? Oh, no, no, right? No. Okay. <laughs> She's asking, are you guys doing vlogmas this year? What? Are you? Am I? <laughs> are we? Yes, we are. We are, are you guys. We? We're not committing to 25 days, but we will be doing 15 days of Vlogmas. We will be vlogging during the month of December. Yes. Basically. <laughs> I think for us, we want to be realistic with you guys. So we're going to do 15 days of Vlogmas. So you will be seeing our face every single day for 15 <laughs> days straight. Ah! <laughs> So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video back. We're so, so, so excited to just show you guys the kids and have you be part of our lives again. I feel like we took a pause and like I keep saying, I feel like you guys are our family and you've been, I'm getting like all choked up. I get so emotional. I don't know. Maybe it's the Aquarius in me. You want some water? Or maybe it's the stomach virus I had. <laughs> you've cut your hair five times. Also, oh, we've been gone. I went through so many hair changes this past year. Like, I don't even recognize myself, but hey. It's long now. That's what It's long saying. now. It looks good now. That's what matters. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, Salud. God bless you. Salud. God bless you. We've been teaching them Spanish and Haley has been so good. She knows her numbers. She knows a lot of words and she's been she's been doing really good. Obviously, she learned English first and we're teaching her the Spanish second. So she's been like, you know, speaking both. So of course, they're going to be bilingual, which I'm so happy about. And then in school, it'll be easier for them to learn a third language when she's they enroll. The third language? That's right. Yay! So anyways, we off topic. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. We miss you guys. We love you. And we hope you're staying safe. And we hope to see you guys more consistently. And we'll see you all in the next one very soon. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Lexi Say bye, Haley. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>